Crixley here with a Fangirl's Guide and GirlGamer.com and I'm really excited to say that my second interview of Comic-Con... <gasps> second! My vi oh! I, did I say second? Second is British for first. I mean first interview. I am with three really hot, hot, awesome people. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's, that's really, thank you. We have Dave Jesser. Thank you. Matt Silverstein and Jordan. Young. Young. Oh, Young. Yeah. Uh, and you, smart. you told us to turn these around so you could look at our names. I did, absolutely. Of course, because I don't want to reach for his balls again like I did last time when I was trying to flip it. I was trying to be slick, it's but I kind of went like this <laughs> to flip it around. What you gotta do. <laughs> if you can't reach for Jordan's balls at Comic Con. So these guys are the, you guys are the creators of Drawn yeah. Together. These two are the creators. I helped develop the show with them. Jordan designed all the characters. He was an animator on The Simpsons. Yeah. Were you really yeah, excellent? Yeah, to sure. work with us, which is a questionable business move, but yeah. he's very talented. Career-wise, it's, it's it been about 50-50. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Drawn Together was a, a show, a reality show, about eight different animated characters all put in the house to have their lives taped. And the show ran for three seasons. We had a great time, Jordan and some other of the funniest writers we've worked with. And it did well. And then one day they stopped calling us back. And three years later, they've called us back to ask us to do a uh, Drawn Together straight to DVD movie. And as luck would have it, we were available. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I love when a plan comes together. You had some real notable people as your voice talent, like Cree Summer, Amazing. Penny from Inspector Gadget, am amongst other things, and her father's also a, a voiceover guy. We wanted to make sure that, um, you know, it was going to be hard to match the animation of a Disney princess. Um, but I think, you know, Rough Draft was the initial animation company. They did an amazing job, but we wanted to make sure we had the real voice talent yeah. to make these, you know, characters believable. And uh, yeah, so we got Tyra, we got Cree, we got Jess Harnell, we James got uh, Arnold James Arnold Taylor. Taylor, and then we got a few of our other buddies. We got Jack Plotnick, who worked on a show called Action yeah. with us. Love girls Jack. He was amazing. I want to ask you about, yeah, about standards and practices and the censors, because there's one scene that always sticks out in my mind, and that's the one with the lightsaber vibrator. Oh. Where she's teaching, she's teaching Clara how to masturbate. Was it Waldor? How to, yeah, the clump thing. Sometimes so you gotta use a little force. Exactly, and there was even a part of that that they actually edited, like they blurred out. They were like, no way can you see this at all. And uh, at what point you couldn't show the, there, you really couldn't do that motion. We wrote a scene where Foxy taught Waldor how to masturbate with a lightsaber, yeah. and she put fried chicken, and she did a bunch of stuff that was that we should never have been allowed to yeah, do. So true. we were arguing with the standards person, like. Well, you can show her uh, bring it down, but you can't show any movement below frame. You could, so we were arguing back and forth. She finally said, I'll take it to my boss. And the boss was like, no, you can't do any of this. You can't have her stabbing herself with a lightsaber. In the movie, after we handed in the first draft, they asked us, because we're trying to do it in 3D, if we can afford some of it, to do a 3D sex scene. They thought that would be great. And we did a 3D sex scene, and now they don't want it in the movie. Uh, <laughs> it's it happened awesome. in Bedrock. They're scared. The Bedrock lawyers are going to sue us. They think it's just too filthy. They don't want to do 3D. They don't know hey. that Bedrock's not a real place. <laughs> there are no yeah, Bedrock right. lawyers. <laughs> Now that we're talking about the movie, what is the premise or the synopsis of the movie? <laughs> Jordan, go ahead. You're good at this. You're good at uh, this. Drawn together, uh, the characters learn that they were not uh, who they thought they were. You know, Clara was not a Disney princess, and Captain Hero um, learns he's not a superhero because, you know, look what they can do. Like, what other superheroes have sex with dead people? And what other Disney princesses have done the things that Clara's done? And they find this all out right after they find out that they've been canceled. And right. just like Matt and I were, we, we had to find out through back channels the show was over. They realize that they are canceled because? Because they didn't have a point. And they learn that sometimes you can't be funny just for funny's sake. You actually have to slap together some sort of ridiculous political <laughs> satire at we the end. And we don't care for one. So we don't really have a point of view. We so just want movie, people to laugh. Like, what's the problem? So in the movie, what do they do? They go so to Make a Point Land. Um, where make they meet... Make a Point Land? I make a Point that. Land where they meet uh, Suck My Taint Girl. <laughs> who takes them to the Make a Point Wizard. And voice helps them. Summers. Voiced by Chris Summers is the is the suck my tank girl, and uh, they help them get a get a point so they can come back and be on the air, perhaps one more time. Wow! At least you guys um, 
they were gracious enough to, well, obviously not, I mean, but they, they did, you guys did find out eventually you were canceled and then you got to do a final episode. We actually called them during, yeah, we called them while we were doing the commentary for the last DVD and right then it hadn't been picked up and we got a job offer to go work at Fox, which we didn't really want to work at Fox, we, we liked Comedy Central, so we called them back and said, hey, we need to know if you're picking up because we can't turn down a job. And they said, oh, we'll get right back to you. <laughs> and then they never called us back. So the next week we took the new job. And the next time we talked to them was when they called asking if we could do a, a directed DVD movie for half the price. And we said yes. <laughs> now, is there any episodes that didn't make it onto Comedy Central that are like, what are your extras in the DVD? The DVD movie? Yeah. The DVD movie, we'll, we're still working on it. We're still working on it right now. I don't know what they're going to let us get away with. Um, oh, so it still matters showing it to standards and practices and them going, no. If There's you're a fan of Drawn time. Together, if you're a fan of Drawn Together, I think buy the movie. Don't watch your friend's copy. Just buy a lot of them. If you have a million good close friends, make them buy it too. Don't steal um, it, because if you steal it, the show will never get back on the air. Yeah, the more people buy it, the bigger the awareness of the show is. You know, this is one of those things where Comedy Central needs to be told that these fans do exist and that we are funny. When is the release date for the DVD? Ten do you have a tentative date? March 23rd. 2010. March 23rd, 2010. It has been an awesome day and an awesome ride. You know what, man? Like, these guys, cool, super right? cool. You you get the rocket sauce, man. The rocket sauce, that is super awesome. You, who, who, uh, who do you like better between the three of us? <laughs> no, you can't do that. It's not who you would marry. This is most attractive. Oh, we should do the marry F. <laughs> kill. Marry F. Kill. Yeah, the three of us. Marry F. Kill. This has been a fan girls. You can't do that to me. Just do me a favor and kill me. I'd be really. <laughs> <laughs> you three gentlemen are very, very attractive. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. Buy the Drawn Together DVD because you know. And you know, can they find any of the Drawn Together episodes at ComedyCentral.com or Hulu and iTunes? You could buy them off of. Uh, and watch yeah, them coming free. out uh, with a box set. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely do that. Thank you very much.